Hello everyone! Welcome back to another Wellness Wednesday. Rebecca King, Sylvie's Dietitian in Ontario here. Um, just going to wait a few minutes to let everyone come and log on. I see a few people. Hello Lise. Hopefully I'll be able to follow along with comments today. Hello Katie from Ottawa. Let me know where everyone's tuning in from. Like I mentioned, I'm here in Ontario, uh, Toronto to be specific. Uh, let me know where you're logging in from today. We have a great no-bake recipe today. All right. Whoop. All right, just trying to get my feed here. There we go. All right, we have Chrissy from Cambridge, Ontario. Hello, Winnipeg. All right, so we're going to be making a great no-bake snack today. We'll wait a few minutes to let everyone uh, log on. I hope you're all having some beautiful weather. It's nice and sunny here today, nice and warm. Hello, Roy. So lots of people from BC here today. That's great. Hopefully our time change to that hour later lets you guys sleep in a little bit and it's not too early for you guys all to log in. All right, Roy says it's sunny in Kelowna as well. So great to hear the nice weather is all across Canada. All right, hey Melanie, how are you doing? So I'm just going to wait about another minute or two. We'll let uh, everyone else log in here and then we'll get started. All right, Sophie's Dietitian is here. So if I miss one of your uh, comments while we're going, Sophie's Dietitians and Special Olympics will be helping me out answer some of the questions. All right. Recognize a lot of names here, so it's great to see you guys all coming back week after week for our uh, Wellness Wednesdays. All right, Overcast in uh, New Lisford. All right, so I'm just going to wait about one more minute and then we will get started with our no bake coconut energy ball. So for anyone just tuning in, my name's Rebecca. I'm a registered dietitian with Sobeys. Oh, fun. Melanie was just in BC for a nice summer vacation with the fam. Hopefully you're all getting up to some, some, some fun summer activities. Now that the weather's really nice. Hopefully everyone's staying cool. Right, Julia from Timmins, hello. All righty. Okay, well, we might as well get started. Uh, it is a few minutes after 12. So, good, good morning, good afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from. My name is Rebecca King. I am a Sobeys registered dietitian. Um, I work here in Ontario, but we do have Sobeys dietitians all across Canada. We work together with our customers to provide nutrition education. So happy to be back for another Wellness Wednesday with you guys here. Um, I'm sure a lot of you know Sobeys and Special Olympics Canada have been partners since 2016. Um, and since 2016, when that partnership started, Sobeys has contributed over $4 million in foods and funds. So we can really see how that partnership benefits all the athletes and how um, nutrition education can really help empower healthy bodies and healthy minds. So we're going to get started today with our no-bake coconut energy balls. So let me know if you've ever made some energy balls before. This is one of my favorite recipes and especially for this time of year um, when it's super hot out you don't really want to turn on the oven so these are great because they're a no-bake snack and they're really delicious. So before we get started we'll just kind of go over all the ingredients we'll be using today. 
So first we have some coconut, we need some quick oats, we have some peanut butter, we have some ground flax seed, we have some chocolate chips, my favorite part, um, we have some maple syrup and some vanilla. So these energy balls are great because like I mentioned, they're no bake, but they're also a great pre-physical uh, activity, pre-workout snack. They have those carbohydrates to help fuel us, they have some protein, and they have some healthy fats and a little bit of fiber. So they really have a lot for such a small little uh, snack. So let's get started. The first thing we're gonna need is just some plain unsweetened coconut. So what we're gonna do with our coconut, I've already done it just to save some time, but we're gonna toast it. So you can see, usually our coconut's nice and white, but this is a nice golden brown. So what we're gonna do to toast our coconut is we're just gonna take a small frying pan and we're gonna toast it over dry heat. So that just means we're gonna not put any oil or anything, we're just gonna take the frying pan as it is put it on low heat, add the coconut, and we're just gonna constantly stir it um, just to make sure we're getting it nice and golden brown and toasted. So this is something you really wanna keep an eye on because it can go from that nice kind of golden brown you can see here to burnt really quickly. So you really wanna make sure you keep a good eye on it. So we're going to add to our big mixing bowl, we're going to add just our um, quarter cup of toasted coconut. So we'll just sprinkle that in here. And this step is optional. You can just use regular coconut if you want. You don't have to toast it, but the toasting really does add another layer of flavor. So next we're going to add some rolled oats. So we have one cup of quick oats. So oats are great because they are a whole grain. Um, so they provide us with that energy to fuel our physical activity. They have a little bit of fiber and they have lots of vitamins and minerals. So we're gonna add our one cup of oats in here. Next, we're going to add um, half a cup of peanut butter. So I'm just using smooth peanut butter. If you don't like peanut butter, you could uh, use any sort of nut or seed butter. So things like almond butter, uh, soy butter, sunflower seed butter, if you have a nut allergy. So today we're just gonna use some peanut butter. So we have a half cup here. Just get that in here. So our peanut butter is gonna provide a bit of protein. It's gonna provide some healthy fats and it's gonna help bind our energy balls together. So after our peanut butter, we're going to add our ground flax. So we have half a cup here of ground flax seeds. So this is again gonna add some healthy fats to our recipe. It's gonna add some fiber as well. And when we're using our flax, we want to use the ground flax. And yes, Katie, you can use organic peanut butter or regular peanut butter, natural, whatever, whatever you have at home and whatever you prefer and like the taste of most. You could even use crunchy peanut butter and add a little bit of crunch to these, to these balls as well. So we have our ground flax seed here. So for this recipe, we want to use the ground. Um, if you have whole flax seeds at home, there are a few ways to gr grind it at home. So you can add it to a coffee grinder or to a blender or to a food processor. So we're gonna add these and alternatively, you could add chia seeds instead of, instead of the flax seeds. So we'll just mix that in here. Okay, so next thing, we're going to add our chocolate chip. So I'm sure a lot of you love your chocolate, just like me. So this adds a nice little sweetness and makes it a really yummy snack. Um, so we're gonna use a quarter cup of chocolate chips. Um, today I'm using dark chocolate, because that's just what I prefer. Um, but you can use milk chocolate, you can use white chocolate, you can use semi-sweet chocolate, whatever you have on hand or whatever you prefer. 
If you're not a huge fan of chocolate or just don't want to add chocolate, you could replace it with something like dried fruit. So dried cranberries or some raisins, um, something like that, just to add some sweetness to, to our energy balls. All right, we're almost there. Yep, yeah, so you could definitely add hemp seeds instead of the flax or chia as well. That's a great idea, Angela. So next we have a quarter cup of our maple syrup. So we're just gonna pour this on here. So again, this is gonna add some sweetness. It's also gonna help bind our energy balls together. So we'll just get that all out. And I like to use a spatula when making your energy balls because it gets all that sticky stuff out of the bowl or out of the container. All right. And last but not least, we're just gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. So again, a great way to add some good flavors here. So we'll add our vanilla in. And then, this is actually a little bit of a workout in itself, is just mixing everything together. So you wanna make sure all the peanut butter, all the maple syrup really gets mixed in there so everything can hold together. So we're just gonna mix this all up so it's nice and uh, consistent. All right. So we'll just mix this up and again, like I said, you wanna just get it so it's all stuck together. Um, you can put it in the fridge for about half an hour to chill. It just kinda lets everything get a little more cohesive and together, but today we're not going to do that because I find you can just start rolling them right away as well. So we'll just get this all mixed in. We see all the peanut butters mixed in there. Everything's about the same color. So also just make sure you scoop everything off of the, the spatula once or twice to make sure it gets mixed in there as well. Okay, so you could, if you wanted, even just put this in a pan and let it cool and then cut into little squares to make little bites. But today we're gonna be doing the energy balls. So we're just gonna grab a plate here. And I like to use um, just one tablespoon measuring cup or measuring spoon uh, to measure out our energy balls. If you have a little melon baller as well, or a cookie dough scoop, one of the smaller ones, those work really well for measuring out uh, your cookie or your, your energy ball dough as well. So we're just gonna take a spoonful. You wanna make sure you wash your hands well before this, but you're just gonna take it in your hands and you're gonna give it a little bit of a squeeze to help get everything all blended in there and just roll it into a nice little ball there. So it does kind of look like a cookie dough, Katie, for sure. It just has a little, maybe like an oatmeal cookie dough. But yeah, so we're just gonna get going. And like Sophie's dietitians just said there, this is a great way to get lots of people involved in the kitchen makes it go by a lot quicker as well because it's a little bit of a time consuming part but it's nice get your hands dirty get involved you can make these bigger if you want i just like to make them a nice snack size so you can just pop them in your mouth they are a little sticky so if you have um some gloves or whatever you wanted to wear in the kitchen while doing this you could as well So to keep these nice and fresh, what you wanna do is once they're all rolled out here, you just wanna put them in an airtight container and keep them in the fridge. So that'll just keep them kind of nice and bound together, but also keep them fresh as well. So I would say um, they'll last the best for about a week in the fridge. I don't think they would actually last in your house for a week because they're so delicious. You're just gonna eat them up right away but I would say in the fridge for about one week in a nice airtight container. 
So yeah, these are super yummy. You saw, super quick to put together. It doesn't take much time at all. And you have your great little pre-workout snack. So I'm just gonna keep going here. I'll do one or two more, and then we'll have the taste test. Yes, and exactly. So these dietitian just shared a great tip. If you wanna make a really big batch, double or triple this recipe, you totally can, and you can freeze them as well. So they freeze well, and you could even just put one straight from the freezer into your lunch bag if you're going out in the day, um, and it'll thaw in time to just eat it cold. Yes, I think I'm going to be doubling or tripling the recipe as well to bring up to a cottage on the weekend or a great snack just to keep you energized throughout the day. Nice to add to your morning coffee or tea just as a nice little appetizer before breakfast. Okay, so I'm just going to do this last one. And exactly, Colby, it'll help keep your energy up for sure. Okay, Lori's made these before. There's lots of different energy balls out there, uh, recipes. And like I said, you can mix and match this up by changing kind of the uh, nut butter you use, whether you use chocolate chips or dried fruit. You can leave out the coconut or add the coconut. You can really make it your own. So as you saw, comes together super quick. You have great little Great little bites here, so let's give it a quick taste test. Mm. So good. I actually love them when they are still cold. I find they're really good when they're cold. Mm. And you can see it is a little messy, but that's always the fun part of getting involved in the kitchen. It is to get a little messy. I promise you it is worth it because they taste so, so good. All right, so thanks for everyone who tuned in today for our Wellness Wednesday. I hope you make these at home. Like I said, so quick, so easy, so delicious. And they're a great, great healthy snack and no bake, so you don't have to worry about heating up the kitchen or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys can all tune in next week. We have another Wellness Wednesday with Veronica. Same time next Wednesday, noon Eastern time. I hope you guys have all been enjoying these Wellness Wednesdays. I know I sure have. Um, so yeah, thanks for tuning in and I hope you all have an excellent day. I hope the sun comes out where you are and you can enjoy this nice summer weather with your no-bake energy bites. So I'll talk to you all later. Have a great day.